Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Hello guys, in every week we used to have two tutorials, that's on Tuesday and Friday, starting from today, you will be seeing three tutorials per week. That's on, Sunday, Tuesday, and Friday. This is just a small try, to see if I can work on this many tutorials in this month. So now let's start with our today's tutorial. Here you can see, I have imported my image file, and mask layers. You can download, all this mask layer, from link given in the description. I will create a separate tutorial on how you can create this mask layer. Now let's start this tutorial with, creating a new composition. I am going to name this composition as, slide. Remaining all will be same. Here you can reduce the time duration. Depending on your requirement you can set the time duration. Now let's create a new solid layer. This will be our background layer. For this solid layer, in effects and preset, search for gradient ramp. Add it to solid background layer. Here you are free to set start and end color of your choice. Set ramp scatter value to 200. Perfect. From project panel, let's add the image file to the timeline. You can scale this image or go to transform, select fit to composition width. Now let's pre-compose the image layer. Here I will name it as media. Move all attributes to new composition. Perfect. Here I will add mask one media file to timeline. For media composition, change track mat to, luma mat mask 1. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now make sure you have not selected any layers. Select the rectangle tool. In fill, make sure fill option is set to solid color. In stroke, stroke is set to none. Now let's create the rectangle shape. Create shape in such a way that, it hides the media layer. Place this shape layer above background layer. Here you can adjust the position of shape layer. For shape layer, in rectangle 1, in rectangle path 1. Increase the roundness value, till we get the round edges. Perfect. Now press S to bring up scale. Unlink the scale value. Here slightly increase the scale value for X axis. Perfect. For shape layer. In effects and preset, search for fill. Add fill to shape layer 1. Here we will set the fill color same as background color. Search for drop shadow. Add it to the shape layer. Here we will set distance to 50. Softness to 300. Now for shape layer, press P to bring up position. Add one second, create keyframe for position. Now at start of the timeline, change position of shape layer is shown. Bring this shape layer outside the frame. Now select created keyframes. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. For shape layer, we will parent it to mask layer. 
For mouse player, press R to bring up the rotation. Here you can set rotation value according to your choice. Here I will set it to near about minus 30 degrees. Now, press S to bring up scale, increase the scale value as shown. Perfect. Here if you want you can adjust the position of mask layer. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. Let's add our text. We will add our text here. Here I am using Montserrat font family. Here I will set font style to bold. Reduce the font size. Perfect. Now select the rectangle tool, before creating any shape layer. Make sure you have not selected any layers. Now create shape layer hiding the text layer. Perfect. Place it below text layer. Adjust the position of shape layer, to place it at center of the text layer if needed. For shape layer, press Y key on your keyboard, and now select the anchor point. Position it as shown. Perfect. For shape layer 2, in effects and preset, search for fill. Add it to shape layer 2. Here you can also add gradient ramp, if you want to set gradient color for text background. Set the fill color. Now for shape layer 2, press S to bring up scale. Add one second. Create keyframe for scale. Unlink the scale. At start of the timeline, change scale value for x-axis to 0%. You can see the preview. Now select created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now adjust the speed graph as shown. We will place this shape layer at 5 frames. Now let's create duplicate of shape layer 2. Place shape layer 3 at start. Now create duplicate of shape layer 3. For shape layer 3, change track mat to alpha inverted mat shape layer 4. Now we will place shape layer 4 at distance of 2 to 3 frames. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create duplicate of shape layer 2. Position the shape layer 5 above text layer. For text layer, change track mat to alpha mat shape layer 5. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now select all the shape layer and text layer. Pre-compose them. Name it as title. We will place this title composition at distance of 10 frames. Now let's see the preview. Perfect. 
Similarly, you can create multiple slides and create your slideshow. To get different variation in the slideshow, you just need to adjust the rotation value of mask layer. Like this. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.